Giotto di Bundoli was an Italian painter. We are going to study biography Giotto written by Amy Steedman. Who is Amy Steedman? He was an artist and author who composed a number of books for kids. They are as In God's Garden, 1905. Knights of Art, Stories of the Italian Painter, 1907, Stories from the Arabian Nights, 1907, Nursery Tales Told to the Children, 1908, Our Island Saints, 1912, The Moderna of the Wolf Inch, 1918, and David the Shepherd Boy, 1926. So, what is there in Knights of Art by Amy Stedman? It brings us into the lesser well-known lives of the names behind the fame. This book will clarify you a moderately new side of famous craftsmen. For example, Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, Michelangelo, Giovanni, Bellini and other eminent. So after knowing about Amy Stedman, now let us come to the biography which we are going to study that is Jato. So the biography entitled Giotto is written by Amy Stedman. It lights on Giotto the one day, son of Shefford. Uh, his life journey as a renowned painter and architect in Italy right from his childhood. So it is biography of Giotto the Bondone. So the pronunciation is Italian. So it is somewhat different from uh, we do pronunciation in English. So what is the pronunciation? Jato di Bondone. So Jato revolutionized in painting world and created his uniqueness in sketching pictures. So what is that unique uh, style he adopted? We will get the information in this presentation. His genius is identified by one famous personality in the area of painting uh, that Florentine painter Simbao and he accepted Giotto as his pupil. So this is how who is guru of Giotto Simbao. So here we have that very important information about Giotto's life. Giotto sketched a number of church buildings and houses of prayer for example Assisi, Padua, Naples, Italy and Florence. So when you go and visit these places, uh, we find that the churches are uh, means having that uh, 3D, 2D pictures actually by Jato. So uh, those who have interest in painting and art, culture, sculpture, so they can find all that um, series of pictures picturized by or painted by Jato. Uh, you can search. Uh, on Google there you find all these things and these are very precious pictures if you want to just get the picture it cost uh, more than 25,000 rupee a uh, picture so in this uh, way you can learn how this person is famous in that world of painting so like Raphael like you do have other names uh, Michelangelo this is one more personality, world-renowned personality in the field of painting. The masterworks of Chateau include the decorations done on Scrovigny Chapel in Padua in about 1305 for the most part called as Arena Chapel. So it's very very important. So Arena Chapel where he has picturized pictures and which are again world famous pictures. Jato rose as an incredible artist because he got more credit from his contemporary specialists, religious leaders and politicians. So all these people they appreciated who are these people, his contemporary uh, people and uh, some religious leaders and politicians because he dealt with all the pictures of Saint Mary you know, and Christ. So in that way you have that religious pictures and all these pictures are 
in uh, chapel chapel means church eventually due to his marvelous dedication to renaissance especially extraordinary italian artistic creations numerous individuals thought of him as father of european painting so in this way you know that this text jato is related or based on that uh, life story of jato the bondone and uh, who is he he is very poor person Uh, son of one shepherd and he, how he became that renowned painter of italy you have that life story in this book and he is also known as father of european painting come to that uh, actual content of jato what is there in this biography jato di bondone was an italian painter and architect from florence during the late middle ages so in this way that biography gives us all details related to his life so from very birth of jato he was born about 1266 close to florence italy so the location is also provided he was the son of a small farmer then he is a, a said jato was found it is said that jato was found by seni di pepi Uh, that a notable florentine painter of the time so uh, this is that name of simbo in seni di pepi mein simbo that that is the name of this fellow uh, guru of this jato the story is informed that when jato was 12 12 years old he was outlining one of his dad's ship ship on a level stone sheep so in this way he was son of shepherd he was taking care of one sheep and at that time uh, just that uh, simba was passing and uh, he found this small boy very genius one he was just of 12 years age and he was impressed by that he saw the that um, jato and he went to jato's father to let jato become his student so in this way that life story is there there are uh, uh, so many stories related to how this jato is discovered as a painter so in the beginning uh, he is adopted by this simbo so another story about the discovery of jato is that when he was a disciple for a fleece trader in florence he visited simbo studio so much that he was at last permitted to study painting so in this way simbo allowed him uh, to have that uh, guidance of doing painting so in this way there are stories so regardless of how jato was discovered the achievements are important to be noticed he made throughout his lifetime uh, an immense all these uh, that painting which have immense effect on history of art in this world so he created his own benchmark his uh, images are world famous jato was one of the most significant and achieved masters of 14th century italian work of art so now uh, you can just have in your permanent memory that jato is italian painter who is very famous and uh, he is that fellow Uh, who achieved success in their period of renaissance his most usually renowned masterpiece is the set of 39 frescoes what is that fresco means fresco is a painting done rapidly in watercolor on wet plaster on a wall or ceiling this wall painting that type of so that the colors penetrate the plaster and become fixed as it dries so this is how it was uh, that Um, um, important contribution on jato you may say and one more thing he did that is uh, that uh, artistic creation in gum based paint so in this way that is how that creation of jato is in the world of painting with biblical scenes that decorate the um, scrovigny chapel in padua they are obviously crafted by an imaginatively and aesthetically completed craft craftsmanship so in this way uh, you find that everything is uh, that is creative and having uh, this the beauty sense of beauty is there in art so here you have very typical um, uh, that creativity of jato so jato was
was an Italian an architect. Now you know that, and a painter who lived from his lifetime is twelve hundred sixty-seven to thirteen hundred thirty-seven. So his contemporaries acknowledged him as a specialist craftsman during the Italian Renaissance because he was a splendid artist and painter. as well as an outstanding architect not only painter but an uh, outstanding that is that uh, architect so giotto picked up unmistakable quality in expressions during late 13th and mid 14th century when in uh, individuals were changing their ways of life and customs from medieval period to renaissance period so during the Uh, that hour of change jetto rose as an incredible artist for he got more credit from his contemporary specialist religious leaders and politicians due to his trade tremendous commitment to renaissance especially extraordinary italian artistic creations numerous individuals thought of him as a father of european painting is very important so his artistic works and medieval workmanship framed the workmanship of the renaissance that prompted insurgency of expressions in europe so what is renaissance that was a cultural movement actually in europe uh, that profoundly affected european intellectual life in the early modern period beginning in the italy especially and spreading to the rest of europe by the 16th century its influence was felt in art architect philosophy literature music science and technology politics religion and other aspects of intellectual inquiry so it's very very important movement which is uh, which was there in europe and uh, that was uh, profoundly affected the european european life so jato in spite of the fact that jato had humble foundation he was poor simbo of florence employed him and this allowed him a chance to extend his abilities or that masterful abilities and resultant was that he became an extraordinary painter in italy jetto was extremely gifted and expression since craftsmanship antiquarians what it means relating to or dealing in antiques or rare books or rare pictures so that way is related to that type of uh, painting recognized that he didn't have any information about expressions yet he had the opinion to portray his canvases in three dimensions so three dimensions 3d pictures he created during the medieval period specialists were just ready to paint in only two dimensions however jatto's works of art made critical changes in uh, having that changed style gasping style attractive style by presenting 3d pictures or 3d canvas style so he is having such type of skill or creativity and he um, is actually created his own images with 3d effect jato di bondone his biography shows that he got his initial training from simbo a florentine painter so here this name is very important who changes his whole life Numerous specialists accept that Simbo took Giotto di Bondone when he was a kid and trained him, shifted creative abilities that molded his ability in expressions. Then, consequently, extraordinary work of art and craftsmanship aptitudes that Giotto di Bondone had originated from the lessons of Simbo. His paintings portray that Giotto liked natural and religious objects, as he depicted saints and religious icons in diverse frescoes, common in church buildings. In this way, Giotto's tendency to nature and religion made him a naturalist painter during the Renaissance. So, extraordinary works of compositions made Giotto di Bondone. an unmistakable painter during renaissance now you know what is that meaning of renaissance is his works remembered 
for his embellishments of church buildings and houses of prayer for spots for example Assisi, Padua, Naples, Italy and Florence. The masterworks of Cetto include the decorations done on the Scrovegini Chapel in Padua in about 1305 for the most part called as Arena Chapel. His work in Arena House of Prayer is a solid portal of Roman naturalism that is an ambiguously the way into the Florentine Renaissance artists. Here a very denoted uh, Jato's presence as a Renaissance craftsman and uh, it consequently increased enough uh, that recognition or acclaim on it. Since it involves lives of Virgin Mary and the Christ, what was there in uh, his pictures mostly that was dependent on the lives of Virgin Mary and the Christ. Very, 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 very important. Means Jato's pictures were drawn on or based on the lives of Virgin Mary and the Christ. So frescoes that he made, means water painting he made, uh, that made him so well known that the congregation of Florentine appointed him another honorable undertaking of planning the Ringer Tower campaign in 1334. So another task was given to him. These two works, the Florence Basilica and the Arena Chapel are the works that Giotto di Bondone claims total credibility and makes him the incredible painter of Renaissance. So in this way, we have this life story of Giotto di Bondone. And of course, if you want to see his pictures, you can visit Google Sites. There you find that uh, how these 3D pictures are there created by this below and how that life story of um, that Mary and Christ is denoted with the help of his pictures. So let us stop here.